Welcome to Shape of the City. I'm Roy Rivera, your host. Spring is in full swing, and so are a variety of fun and active programs across the city. Today, we'll learn about some exciting activities happening through the Easter Day Recreation Center. Carrie Zing, Easter Day Director, is here, along with a couple of Center's patrons, to tell us more about some of their special programs. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, how are you? Very good, how about yourself? Thank you, very good. Where is the recreation, uh, the Easter Day Recreation Center, and what types of programs does it have to offer? We're located at 6130 Adams Street, which is just north of Northeast High School, and we have a variety of options for the public within the, the center from uh, drop-in pool table, foosball, um, table tennis to a uh, gym and weight room that they can use for a nominal fee and also is available for rentals and for team reservations. So that's what the general public can do at Easter Day. We also have a variety of programs for children and adults with special needs there. Now that you mention uh, that it's close to the high school, do you get any volunteer students coming in to help out? Not as many as would be great to have, but um, we do have some. And some of the high school students come in to use the facilities, especially uh, on their early day out of school to, to come play in the gym or, or the game room area. Yeah, that's, that's great. And about how many people participate in your special programs and what is the age range of your uh, participants? In our adaptive recreation programs we had uh, about 564 people participate last year plus an additional uh, 30 some unified partners in Special Olympics and so they ranged in age from 2 to 70 plus and so pretty much all ages, That's quite a big all range. ages, yes, it is. <laughs> That's great. And uh, how long has uh, Easter Day been participating with the Special Olympics? Pretty much since the beginning. Back in 1968, when Eunice Kennedy Shriver um, hosted the first international Special Olympics Games in Chicago, Mary Crooks and Dorothy Luigi, who were both working at um, Parks and Rec at the time, uh, took a group of athletes to participate in the track and field competitions and things have really just grown since then. Mary was a pioneer within the Parks and Rec system. She's no longer with us, but um, she um, really saw the growth of our program, which is now known as the Lincoln Shooting Stars. Oh, wow, and uh, now that you mentioned um, international and um, nationwide, do your, participant go, do your participants go to other uh, cities or other states to participate in Special Olympic activities? Yes, just in February we had a group of four from our unified bowling team go to Las Vegas for the National Invitational Unified Bowling Tournament. That was a good time. Um, we also had quite a few that participated in the National Special Olympics here in Lincoln in 2010. Uh, we had someone who went to Greece in the swimming team um, in the International Games. Um, I'm trying to think, there's been others who've participated as well recently, but um, it is a fun culmination activity for them. Yes, no, it does sound very exciting. And I think that uh, my next question was actually why you felt that uh, having this uh, center in Lincoln was so important. And, um, you know, I think that just by what you've said, it shows the importance it has on the community. But uh, could you tell us why, you know, your number first priority is um, in regards to Easter Day being here in Lincoln? Well, in addition to Special Olympics, we do a lot of other programs. We have a, a day program for people with mental health issues and physical health challenges. Uh, that's Monday through Friday during the day. We have evening club programs for all ages. We have classes in a variety of things throughout the, the day. And so oftentimes you'll find that um, people with special needs may be socially isolated and especially if they don't have family involvement and so we're a fun safe affordable place for people to go and so uh, that I feel very lucky that we're in a city where our public leaders have seen the importance of that and had to have uh, continued to support our programs that way uh, for families it's a much needed respite service and so um, just think it's a wonderful program and I'm thankful to be in a city that supports the program. It's a great program and very happy that it has a spot here in, in Lincoln. 
Um, I bet you have a lot of memories, but from what you can think of right now, what's your, uh, your favorite mer uh, memories from working at the center? I think our holiday balls, which are the culminating events for three of our recreation clubs, are some of my favorite memories. Uh, that's when the club members invite family and friends to uh, a special formal event uh, in December. They dress up, we dress up all the pavilion, um, decorate it to the nines and have hors d'oeuvres, disc jockey in for a big dance and so it's just a big joyful night and so those are always special memories. Um, our drama camp plays, our some fun family event, um, you know I could go on and on uh, a lot of the big events and of course all of the Special Olympics events that I've been involved with too are, are great memories for me. Is there um, a website where we can check out some pictures now after hearing it about it? I'm very curious to check out any videos, pictures, or more information about it. The pictures were most likely to post on our Facebook page. So if you like Easter Day Rec on Facebook, uh, we try to post as many pictures as we can of what we have going on. Um, Easter Day is also uh, part of the Lincoln Parks and Recreation website. And so as far as the web address, I know if you go to lincoln.ne.gov and uh, type in Easter Day or Parks, you can get to us that way. Well, uh, thank you very much for all the information. Now we're going to talk with uh, Janet and James, uh, patrons of the center, and would like to ask you, how long have you been uh, going to Easter Day? Oh, I have been going for several years. Oh, wow. And uh, what has been the most exciting, most uh, fun part of uh, going to Easter Day? Going to a club is so long and meeting the friends that I haven't seen since several some semesters, about a year went by. And besides the club, are, the, are there any other activities that you participate in? Soccer and tennis and basketball. Oh wow, that's a uh, that's a lot of uh, sports. You're quite an athlete. I am. That's uh, very nice. Uh, anything else that you'd like to add, Janet or uh, James? That I swim at, at a pool next to my house. Is it pool? And I open on the last day of, of May. That I go there and swim. To see my is high graduates there. And I don't no, no get involved with the sports of uh, wanting to play with the team that I met for years. He's done um, some fun camp for several summers, and uh, the last two or three years participated in drama camp. And that's um, a pretty amazing one week camp where they learn their parts and create the set and do a play, short play at the end of the week. And then High Time Club. High Time Club uh, for his age group I think is a real important social outlet as well. Uh, and as a perk for a parent, they provide transportation. So it's an independent thing. Instead of mm -hmm. mom or dad dropping them off somewhere, they are picked up and then dropped back off at home. So it's a real independent and social outlet for them as well. And, and I will, will keep continuing going to a socialized club to social, to hang out with the encouragement that I put into these friends that I work with or the size that I have been to throughout the whole, whole work year that I'm in now that I have been in a lot of f f voice sites with my co-workers. I get a lot of them, but f f for what is two young folks are saying that I, will, I enjoy going to Easter Day Club and San Camp for two or three years that I've been on a, I put on a big show at the end of the week at San Juan Camp that one of the camp staff 
my goal, my van driver, that he has been putting on a lot of great mm, song soundtracks that I sing to on my own. Of course, I love that idea that he knows what I'm capable of and what I do. And of course, I will be big goodness of one camp this s summer to mm, see my friend from first again and the stuff that I've, I've seen before and to have a family to get back to. And my, my damn, damn was back, he's been picking me up and, and taking me back as well. But sometimes for a bus transportation, for, for a eye examine, that is important. But in my whole career, has been a huge success. This whole is a camp and club sites I've been to. It's been a huge success this these past years. But now, I enjoy this moment and opportunity to to come in here to talk to you about this boy that I will be the most influential person in Lincoln, Nebraska, for what I am and what I do for the city. I'll be ready for anything, for everything that I do, do to support Lincoln is to restore peace and justice and love for what Lincoln has to store and to restore peace in my f family to help the staff they know. Thank you. Thank you very much, James, for sharing. And, uh, you know, that's what Lincoln's about, family, friends, and a community that helps us all uh, move, move up and forward and uh, be able to seek our passions. Thank you again. Thank you. Yes, Thank of you. course. Thank you.